The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 27th of June, 1971, in San Francisco, California. Jagannath Shami Nana Patadami Bhautume Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your kindly participating in this great Ratha Yatra festival. I have already explained what is this Ratha Yatra festival. It is in commemoration of a grand visit by Lord Krishna along with his elder brother Balaram and his youngest sister Subhadra in a solar eclipse ceremony at Kurukshetra. This occasion is the subject matter of this Ratajatra festival. Apart from this historical uh, references in the matter of Ratajatra festival. There is another spiritual meaning that the Lord is situated in everyone's heart. And this body is just like Ratha or Kart. He is sitting in everyone's heart. It is stated in the Bhagavad Gita sarvasya chaham vidhisanne I am sitting in everyone's heart. matta smriti jnana mapohanancha. I am giving everyone the intelligence as well as I am taking away the intelligence from everyone. This double work is being done by the super soul. In one side, he is helping how to realize self, how to realize God. And other side, he is helping also to forget God. How it is that the Supreme Personality of Godhead as Paramatma is doing this double work. The sense is that if we want to forget God, God will help us in such a way that we will forget God life after life. But if we want to re-establish our relationship with God from within, He will help us in every way. This human form of life is a chance for God-realization. Without God-realization our life is frustrated. We being part and parcel of God, it is our duty to understand our relationship with God and act accordingly. Then our ultimate goal of life is achieved. The ultimate goal of life is to attain eternal life full of knowledge and bliss. Satchidananda Vigraha. Sat means eternal, ananda means bliss, and chit means knowledge. This body is just the opposite. 
It is not soft. This body is temporary. It is not eternal. This body is full of ignorance. There is practically no knowledge. We do not know. After closing our eyes, we do not know what is happening before our eyes. So our knowledge is always imperfect. And this life is also miserable. It is not at all blissful. Every step, there are three kinds of miserable conditions. Adhyatik, adhibhautik, adhidoivik. Adhyatik means misery is pertaining to the body and the mind. Adhibhautik means miserable condition offered by other living entities. And adhidoivik, natural disturbances. So, either of these three, or at least one or two, there must be always present. This is the material condition of life. But as spirit soul, we are Satchidananda Vigraha, part and parcel of Satchidananda Vigraha. Sat means eternal, Chit means knowledge, and Ananda means blissfulness. So if we want to have eternal life, full of knowledge and blissfulness, then we must take to Krishna consciousness. However, this Krishna consciousness movement is the greatest welfare activities in the human society. We are giving information to every man without any discrimination of caste, creed, and color, that every human being, especially, not only human being, all living entities, including the animals, beasts, birds, trees, aquatics, everyone, they can achieve to the highest perfection of life by this Krishna consciousness. But especially the extra intelligence of the human being can be utilized to realize Krishna. If we don't do that, we are missing a great opportunity. So our request to everyone is to understand this philosophy of Krishna consciousness. If anyone wants to understand this philosophy through philosophical angle of vision or scientific angle of vision, we have got immense volumes of books. You can read and try to understand what is this great movement, Krishna consciousness. But you can also, without reading books, without taking any trouble, if you simply agree to chant this Mahamantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. You get the same result. Even a child can join. Actually we have experience that a child, a dog, an animal, everyone takes part in this movement. During Lord Chaitanya's movement, when he passed through a great forest known as Jhari Khanda, Central India, there is a great forest. He, along with him, the tigers, the elephants, the deers, everyone danced and chanted Hare Krishna mantra. It is so nice and it is so spiritual. The very vibration will immediately enthuse their ecstasy in spiritual consciousness. Please, therefore, take to this chanting of Hare Krishna mantra. There is no loss. There is no expenditure. We don't charge anything. We have arranged this Rasa festival by begging from door to door. Although we have no means, but still we are executing this function for the benefit of the people in general. Please take advantage of this spiritual moment and make your life blissful and perfect. If you miss this opportunity, you do not know what you are going to have next life. Do not think that there is no next life. Next life, every moment we are changing our body. You know 
that when your body was a baby, that body was very small. Now that body is no longer there. When you were a boy, there was another body. That body is no longer there. Now you are young man. There is another body. And when you will become old man like me, you will have another body. This means that we are changing bodies in every moment, every second, imperceptibly. But I, the spirit soul, exists in all circumstances. Therefore, it is natural to conclude that after leaving this body, I shall have another body. That's a fact. That is Vedic truth. Bhāsāṁ si jīrnāni jathā vihāya. The example is given that as we change our dresses, similarly we are changing our dresses from one body to another. We have changed dresses in, as aquatic animals, as as many fishes and aquatic animals as there are in the sea. Then we have changed bodies as creepers, plants and trees for many, many years. Then we change our bodies in the insect life, reptiles life. Then we have changed our bodies in thirty, hundred thousands of bees. Then we have got this human form of life. That is also in evolution through many uncivilized form of human life. Now this civilized form of human life with higher intelligence and consciousness, it is meant for God-realization. It is not meant for utilizing as the animals waste their time simply for eating, sleeping, mating and defending. That is not our business. That is part of our business so far the body is concerned. But as a spirit soul, our main business is to understand what I am, where from I have come, where I shall go, why I am under the tribulation of threefold miseries of material condition. These questions must be answered. If we do not question, just like live like animal, the animal cannot question, neither they can understand the answers. But the human form of life, they can question and understand the answer also. In the Vedanta Sutra, it is called Brahma Jigyasa, inquiring about the Supreme. So that is our prerogative. Please take chance of this human body and try to understand yourself and cleans your heart from the dirty things by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.